Hello everybody and welcome to another Codices programming video tutorial. In this video I'm gonna talk about some basic concepts of Codices programming. Identifiers, what are they, comments and how to use them in Codices. First I wanna explain identifiers. Identifiers are words that we use to call a program, functions, variables, etc. For example, we have a contact and a coil. We want to call them start and motor. So start is the identifier for this contact and motor for the coil. Or we have a function and we name it test1. This name is an identifier for this function. There are some guidelines to identifiers that we need to consider them when we write our code. First, we cannot use space or special characters to define an uh, identifier. In codices, I have inserted a contact and a coil. Let's change the name. Start one, and I put here a space. You see, we cannot use a space and uh, define this identifier. Or I add a special character percentage sign. As you can see, we have an error and we can use this identifier. Numbers we can use, but not at the beginning. Start one is okay, but one start is not permitted. Codices ignores uppercase and lowercase. So var1 with uppercases and var1 with uh, lowercase are the same variable. I insert another contact and uh, write for its name start1 with uppercase. You see this time the declaration window does not appear. It means for codices these two variables are the same. I'm going to start the simulation. Go online. Double click on the first variable. The second variable will be also true. Try second variable. Double click on it. The first one is also changed, so they are the same. We can use underscore, so these two identifiers are not the same in codices. Let's add an underscore to one of the variables. This time declaration window appears. It means start uh, underscore one is not the same as start one for codices. You see also here we have a new variable. Try again the simulation. As you can see, the variables are independent. Two underscores together are not permitted to be used. This time I put two underscores and let's see what happens. Codices shows us an error for the identifier.
The length of uh, an identifier is unlimited. You can use uh, unlimited characters to define an identifier. We cannot define an identifier two times. For example, I copy the start one. Save and press build. You see we have an error. A local variable named start1 is already defined in variable. But we can use an identifier in other functions. I add a program. I define again variable start1 in this function and I can use it without error. And the last one, in codices we have some keywords that are unique and cannot be used as an identifier. Like words, and, variable, true, false, timer, if, and other words that are already defined by codices and we cannot use them. I use a keyword and here. Again, we have an error. Okay, that was important aspects of identifiers in codices. If you need more and detailed information, you can use codices help. You can find a link in the description below. Now let's talk about comments. Sometimes you need to write some explanation about your code and what you have done. In this case, you can write your sentences as a comment and they will not be executed by codices in your program. We can use comments in two ways. First is the single line. With two slashes, you can uh, make a sentence to be a comment. For example, after this variable, I want to write a comment. Double the slash and then write your uh, words. Or when I don't need a variable or a code in the program anymore, I can make it a comment. So before this variable, I put two slashes. You see this variable is now a comment. Second way is multi-line. You can write your comment between two parentheses and a star. In this case, all the characters in between will be a comment. Don't forget to close the parentheses, otherwise all the sentences after that parentheses will become a comment. You can also write a comment when you declare your variable. I'm going to write a comment for this variable. Hit OK. The comment is here. In a comment, you can write whatever you want and there isn't any limitation. You can write keywords or special characters, numbers, etc. You can also select the sentences and right click. Then from the advanced, select this option to make all these selected uh, sentences comment. If you want to make it back to normal codes, select on comment selected lines. There is an option in codices to show also comments of variables and networks in the programming area. It's by default inactive. To activate it, go to Tools and select Option. And then from FBD, LD and IL Editor, check the network and a symbol comment. Now you can see comments of variables or you can write a comment for a network. Okay, that was two basic and important concepts of programming in codices. I hope you enjoyed this video and it helps you. See you next video.